I, I want to welcome you today to our predictive analytics forum. Uh, they actually re they really wanted to be here. They had intended to be here, and then unfortunately they, they got called to Springfield where they have been all weekend. Will be. Um, so uh, sadly they cannot join us. Uh, but we welcome you. We're really excited um, for the day. My name is Mary Nam, and I'm the Associate Director for Strategy and Performance Execution um, at DCFS. And uh, we're just really excited to have the opportunity um, to engage in a conversation with you um, and to hear from, from our expert panelists about uh, predictive analytics. Um, so there's no question that the, the work of child welfare is uh, complex. Uh, we are, we get involved in the lives of children and families, most often when they're in crisis. And uh, we are working tirelessly to try to support them, uh, to meet their needs, uh, to get them in a stronger place so that they can leave our system. Uh, we are called to make life-altering decisions all the time, um, and uh, oftentimes we, uh, very quickly. Um, and we just, with the, with the information that we have available to us, and unfortunately, those decisions are hard. Um, so that's why we're looking at predictive analytics, uh, because we have the opportunity um, to, uh, to develop another tool in our toolbox to, to, better, to better support people. And I am assuming, um, just in the room, that we have a, a continuum of understanding about what predictive analytics, predictive modeling is. Um, I'm sure you know many questions, many, many folks are, are wondering what is it? Um, how exactly does it work? Can it be trusted? Uh, and uh, we really are here because we want to we wanna engage in that conversation. I'm eager to learn with the rest of you um, and I appreciated uh, in, in one of the articles that, that we shared with folks before uh, the panel, the way kind of uh, it, uh, the, uh, an understanding around predictive analytics can be framed, um, which is who first, who more, um, given the limited resources that we have, given uh, the challenging work that we have to do with, with families, children and families, how do we target our attention? How do we target our resources to better support them? Um, so what are our goals today? Um, really, first and foremost, this, this is a, a learning opportunity for us. Um, we have invited panelists from three, three different jurisdictions because we want to hear from them how they've implemented predictive analytics in their child welfare system and we really want to have the conversation with them about how it went. How, how was, uh, what was their process uh, to make those decisions? What challenges came up uh, as they were implementing? Um, what have they learned since then? Um, and secondly, we, we want to open up uh, the conversation so that we can have a dialogue with you. Um, after our, our morning and afternoon sessions, um, we will be um, talking through at the, in our tables um, to try to unpack what we've heard and to begin to think through how predictive analytics can help our system. How, what, what would it look like in Illinois? And so um, we, you guys are seated in, in tables. We've got DCFS and POS staff. We've got folks who, who have an understanding of our data, and we've got research leads. And we're hoping that that mix of people will really generate rich conversation about, um, about the work and how we can apply going forward. So we don't expect that we'll be making uh, final decisions here today. We really are um, starting the conversation, and we are hoping that, that um, the, the information that, that bubbles up today that will it will help to kind of narrow our focus because we know that there are many ways that this can be applied. Um, before I turn it over to um, Dean Anderson, um, I, really, I really just wanted to thank him and, and I wanted to thank UIUC um, for their, their partnership. Uh, this has been uh, a great collaboration and we really do look forward to ongoing, um, ongoing work. Um, and with that, I will turn it over to the Dean. 